Skylar just freaking smoked this buck. He's big, babe. I think he got the biggest buck of the trip. Boys and girls, it's cold. We've been getting snowed on for the last hour. It's opening morning. I haven't seen a deer yet, but the weather's picking up. It's snowing. Things are probably gonna start getting good the next couple days. The deer are gonna start moving down. And we just need to be in the right place at the right time and get lucky. So day one update, we saw a big buck today, but it was on private, unfortunately. But tomorrow we're gonna go try a new area and see what we can find. But the weather's looking good and we saw some bucks rutting a little bit, so that's also really good. So hopefully that keeps up and by the end of the week things should get really good. So we just spotted a stud buck. He's a long ways away from us right now across a lot of private, but he's on a public section. Somebody that was hunting the private, I think, was shooting at him possibly, but he hauled butt clear up the mountain and went over the top. But it's public all on the backside of that, so we are making a plan right now to go try to hunt him in the morning. We only have about an hour and a half of daylight tonight, so there's no way we can make a move on him tonight, but we know where he's at and... He looks like he's got really, he's big. he's big. He's got super deep back forks. He's really tall, narrow. He's a big buck for this unit. We are going to study our Onyx maps and try to make a solid game plan for in the morning. And we're gonna focus the rest of the time on this buck and see if we can turn him up again. Because that's what we spend all of our time looking for is a deer like this on these hunts. So we're gonna go make it happen. But it's exciting. Day two of the hunt, that's good. We're on our way in right now to go try to get on the backside to where that buck ran over the hill last night. But we got on our Onyx maps last night and studied the area really good and figured out there's a road that goes really close to where he went. So we think we'll be able to get over there and glass on that canyon where we saw him run into and hopefully be able to turn him up today. We just checked the canyon. probably 24 25 inches wide decent mass a nice buck but we're gonna pass him today we still have six days in the hunt to go we're gonna cruise over into the next canyon right now and set up the big eyes and start getting to work you see him working on it right in that clearing yeah. walking left You on him? No, I'm looking for him. Okay, he's at the top of the hill, babe. You got about 30 seconds and he's gonna be gone. Okay. Okay, I got him.
So I just smoked a giant buck, the one from this morning. Uh, we waited him out all day and finally he came out and so I smoked him. But Heather and my dad got here just in time to watch it all go down and they helped um, watch the shot and see where I was hitting and stuff. And we got the shot on film so that was awesome and just so lucky the way everything played giant. out and then he came back out and he is giant. We're excited. Hopefully we can get Skylar and Heather a buck in the next couple days. Woo -hoo -hoo! Just smoking yeah! the giant. <laughs> excited to put my hands on that oh, thing and see what so he is. Heavy, heavy, so heavy. Big. He's so heavy. He's not very wide, but he's super tall, heavy, dark chocolate horns. He's just beautiful. What are we doing? We're gonna go and get my buck right now. We just f figured out how to get to him the best way, checked our Onyx maps for the best trail, and we found a pretty good one, so we're gonna head up down this bottom and up the canyon he's up. It's probably gonna be just a little bit over a mile until we get to him, but we glassed him up this morning. He's still right in the exact same spot, dead as can be. So, here goes. Just gotta go around one more ridge and up to the top and we're there. But this is gonna be gnarly. Yeah. I'm too excited, but we're I'm freaking excited to see him though, so we're gonna head up there as quick as we can. behind that spot. It's going to be quite the pack out. After a long steep vertical climb for about a mile straight uphill, just caught a glimpse of some tines. We are close boys and girls. He is right and there. It was not easy. No, I'm dead right now. That stuff is straight up vertical. I gotta go look at him though. Let's go. Let's go check him out. Oh, you're right where we left him. Yeah. Those back forks are gigantic. Holy crap. He's a stud. His horns are lighter and up close. He looks all dark. Wow, that's a big deer. That's a big deer. He's awesome. Are you kidding me? That deer is big. Look at his eye guards. He's got icicles on him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's freaking solid as a board. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh yeah. How awesome is that? All piled up on a quakey like that? He's a stud. No, he Look is. Look at that a eye guard on that side. Those are huge. Guys, this deer is big. Back forks, G2s, G3s. These don't eye guards get bigger are than that. freaking huge. He's all palmated in the back.
All right, so we just got him all boned out and got him in bags. So we're gonna load them into our packs right now. So we're gonna load up some meat, but then we're gonna head out of here. We've been here for a couple hours working on this thing, taking pictures and breaking him down, but we're about ready to start hiking back out. We're gonna go out a different way than we came in because the way we came in was way too nasty and we were not loving it at all. It was basically vertical and slick. So we're gonna go out a different way. It's gonna be about three miles back to where we can get picked up by Heather and my dad. Pack frame and the meat shelf. Ready? Yeah. I think. Oh. <sighs> Loaded down and ready to get out of here. Just spotted this buck, super tall, super pretty. Just kind of light on the mass and small on the fronts. So we're probably gonna go ahead and pass him for now anyways. But anyways, thought you guys might like to see him. He's a super good looking buck. Hopefully he'll look at us here. There he is. It's the last morning of the hunt. And so far, no luck. Uh, we've been hunting hard and I've passed up on some nice bucks but haven't found what we're looking for yet. So hopefully we get some luck today, but if not, we're gonna head back home tonight. Um, it's been a super fun hunt and I'd love to top it off with another big buck today. So we're gonna go bust our butts today and see what we can turn up. We're gonna give it a try. Hopefully we knock down a big old buck here today soon, the next hour. Yep, we're gonna get behind the glass and start doing some work at first light right now and see if we can find something. So, stay tuned. Yeah. Woo! Got him. The camera's totally blurry. Skylar just freaking smoked this buck. He said it was big. And it looks pretty big. We better go see what this thing is. Unbelievable how that just played out. It's first light. There's been people up in here all week. Today's the only day we're the only people in here. And this deer's standing off the side of the road with a group of does. <laughs> no freaking way. This is the luckiest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if this deer's big. He told me it's big, but I was just trying to film everything so I didn't even look at him. <laughs> this is insane. This morning could not have played out better. We are so lucky. How big is he? I don't know. I can just see one of his antlers sticking up through some grass. Let's go walk big up to enough. him. Yep, big enough for the last day. What are the chances of that? What are the chances that we are the first ones up here this morning and we were late? One in a billion? Yeah. 
He's big, babe. I think he got the biggest buck of the trip. Maybe. What's he got? Just a typical one flared out threes. Holy crap, this is He's a good buck, babe. Oh, he's got double giant double eye guys. Shut up, let's see. No way. <laughs> that, that is buck. awesome. Look, Look at, at the those. head on that thing. Look at those freaking got double an, eye guards. Uh, he's got an infected face from fighting. Holy crap, yeah, look at that. Look at his cape, how dark it is. He's got such a dark cape. That's Good a buck, babe. Stud. Look how big those eye guards are. That's a stud. That's way bigger than the other one that got away. Look how heavy he is, and his freaking bases are so sweet. Heck yeah, guys. That's the way to end the hunt right there. <laughs> I'd say so. It's a good thing we decided to stick it what out. A beautiful buck. He's so pretty. Look how dark. He's like a chocolate brown. I've never, I've seen a lot of dead deer and I've never seen a cape like this. Ever. And he's just a tank of a body. Look how long he is. He's a giant. Freaking giant. Yes, well, here he is. Last day, Buck, 2017. Pretty freaking awesome. Right off the road. Right off the road. We just got to our glassing point and we're like, well, no one's up here, that's good. And then all of a sudden look down and he's with freaking like, he's with like seven does. And one other little buck was there. his brains out and gave me enough time to get out and shoot him at about 150. All that moss from Robin, he's even got a little drop tine, if you can count that. Got a little cheater over here. If you, almost a cheater. And then this back fork is pretty unique too, how it flares out and pinches together. Big old beams, beautiful cape. He got a battle wound on his face right here. Yeah, check that sucker out. He's got a giant swollen up lump right here. Couldn't be happier though how this ended out. I thought I was gonna go home with another unfilled Colorado tag. So yeah, this is a heck of a last day buck. Heck yeah. He's the luckiest guy I know. I would have shot this buck on the first day with this tag, honestly. But we're gonna get him taken care of and loaded up. This pack out's gonna be a little easier than the Coles. Yeah, the last one took us a whole day to get it out, and this is gonna take us all about five minutes to get him to the truck. Yep. Not going to complain about that. We'll take the easy ones all day long. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Good morning, Instagram. This right here is a fresh tenderloin. Um, I bet you wonder how we got that. And <laughs> I will be telling you later. So it's been a good morning. This pack out's a little easier than Nicole's. Yeah, I'll take 100 yard pack out over an all day pack out. Still not easy though. It's not easy being that beautiful either. Oh. You just got this freezer filled up completely. It barely closes. It wants to close, but that's gonna have to do. Grab the head now and load that sucker in and we're headed home. Will this buck get to ride back to Utah?